Hey, second graders, I'm going to show you really quickly how to be ready for your reading group starting Monday. Each day that you have reading group, you're going to want to prepare about five minutes to 10 minutes before group. Once you get used to it, you'll just take you a minute. But what you're going to want to do is you want to have the book that you're going to be reading in the reading group open and ready to go for the meeting. So to do that, before you join the meeting, you're going to go over to JCPS Quick Links and you're going to click on Clever. And then you're going to go log in with Google. This is just like how you go to Zern. You click on your name and your Clever will open up. And so if you were going to Zern, you know you'd scroll down and you'd click on Zern. Well, for reading groups and then for some reading that's going to follow reading groups in the future, we're going to use something called literacy footprints. So I'm going to go ahead and heart it because when you heart it, then it's going to end up up there as one of your resources and you'll always be able to get right to it. So you want to open up literacy footprints. And then once your literacy footprint screen opens up, you're going to click Google login. Click your name again. And this is going to be like your page. It's going to have your name on it. And when you scroll down, you're going to see your book assignments. So you're going to tap book assignments and there's going to be one book there waiting for you. Now this is my screen. So I've assigned a different book for each of my groups, but you won't have that. You'll just have the book that goes with your group. And so you'll click on that book and then you'll open your book and it'll look like this and you'll see your book and you'll see the arrows because this is how you will turn the pages for your book. Now, I do not want you to read the book before group, please, okay? I just want you to practice maybe, practice this sometime over the weekend, getting to your book and opening your book. And then the second thing you're going to do, you can go ahead and close this Clever Homeroom tab. You won't need this anymore. You need your literacy footprints, but then the second thing you're gonna do, remember how this morning I taught you how to split your screen so that you could have two smaller screens? Yeah, so you wanna go to this square here in the middle, and that's how I get it down to about half the size of my screen. And then I have all this room on the other side of my screen to have my second screen, which is gonna be the Google Meet. Now, remember we practiced today that if you're on a Chromebook, to get that second screen, you have to first get your tab. So you would add your plus sign. Where is my, now I don't know, I don't know how to flip over here, but you're gonna add your plus sign. And with this tab, you're gonna go to meet. Now, for you on a Chromebook to get meet on one side and have your book on the other, remember we practiced pressing alt bracket key. The bracket key is the key that is the first key to the right of the letter P. So if you hold down alt and press the bracket key, it's gonna split your screen. Now mine doesn't work like that because I'm on a Windows laptop. So for mine, I had to get a special extension in for my Chrome bar. And that special extension was called tab resize, and now I can do it on my computer as well. If you're on a Mac, I think it might be even easier just to put the other tab on the other side. I watched another teacher do that. But make sure you know how to have two screens going so that you can have your book on one side, and then you can have your meet on the other, and then go ahead and join your meet just like you always do right on time, and then we'll be ready to start reading our book. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and be sure and just practice these couple steps so you know what to do on Monday and I'll see you then.